Scene Script Have you ever wondered how a person can simply vanish from the face of the earth, leaving no trace behind? Enter the enigma of Brandon Lee Wade, a 27-year-old software engineer, who in the summer of 2002, did precisely that. He disappeared. Brandon was just a regular guy, living a seemingly normal life. He had a job that he was passionate about, a loving family, and a close-knit circle of friends. Yet one day, he was there, and the next, he was gone. In the days leading up to his inexplicable disappearance, there were no indications, no warnings, no signs that something was amiss. Brandon was last seen on June 19, 2002, leaving his office in the heart of Silicon Valley. His co-workers recall him being his usual self that day, jovial, engrossed in his work, and excited about an upcoming project. Even his family and friends, when asked, could not point to any unusual behavior. To them, Brandon was the same cheerful person, always ready with a joke to lighten the mood. There were no sudden changes, no inexplicable mood swings, nothing that could suggest that he was planning to disappear or that he was in any kind of danger. Yet, the facts remain. On the morning of June 20, 2002, Brandon Lee Wade didn't show up for work. His car was still parked in his driveway, his apartment was left untouched, and his bank accounts lay dormant. No one had heard from him, and no one has heard from him since. This is where our story begins, in the heart of Silicon Valley, with a mystery that has baffled investigators for over two decades. This is the story of a man who seemingly had everything, a man who one day simply ceased to exist. On June 20, 2002, Brandon Lee Wade became a ghost. As the days turned into weeks and weeks into months, the trail seemed to grow colder and colder. In the early stages of the investigation, local law enforcement found themselves grappling with a daunting task. Brandon Lee Wade had vanished without a trace, leaving behind no clues, no leads, and no clear path for the detectives to follow. The lack of physical evidence was a significant hurdle. His personal belongings, his vehicle, even his bank accounts, all remained untouched, as if he had simply stepped out of existence. The investigators dug deep into Brandon's life, looking for any potential leads or suspects. Friends, family, colleagues, even casual acquaintances were questioned. Each interview, however, seemed to paint the same picture. Brandon was well-liked, without any known enemies or conflicts that could hint at foul play. Complicating matters was the fact that this was 2002. The digital footprints we leave behind today, emails, social media activity, smartphone data, were barely a whisper back then. Brandon, like many others of his time, had left behind no such trail for the investigators to pick up on. The law enforcement team found themselves at a standstill. Each potential lead seemed to fizzle out, each promising avenue led to a dead end. The lack of tangible clues, combined with the absence of a digital footprint, made it feel like they were looking for a ghost. Despite the challenges, the investigators pressed on. They revisited crime scenes, re-interviewed potential witnesses, and chased down every possible lead. But with each passing day, the hope of finding Brandon seemed to dim a little more. The early stages of the investigation into Brandon Lee Wade's disappearance were fraught with frustration and dead ends. The police did everything in their power to piece together the puzzle, but the missing pieces remained elusive. Despite their best efforts, investigators were left with more questions than answers. In the absence of solid evidence, speculation took the stage. It was as if a thick mist had descended on the case of Brandon Lee Wade's disappearance, clouding the truth and leaving us with nothing but conjectures and hypotheses. The first theory that emerged was that of abduction. Some believed that Brandon was taken against his will, perhaps for ransom or worse. It was a chilling thought, yet it provided a possible explanation for the sudden and mysterious nature of his disappearance. But where was the evidence? There were no ransom notes, no suspicious sightings, no signs of struggle, nothing. Then came the theory of voluntary disappearance. Could Brandon have simply decided to leave his life behind and start anew somewhere else? It was a possibility. After all, we all have secrets, dreams, and desires that the world knows nothing about. Yet again, this theory was purely speculative. There were no indications that Brandon was unhappy or that he had any reason to flee. His bank accounts remained untouched, his belongings were left behind, and there were no reports of him being seen elsewhere. And of course, there was the ominous theory of foul play. Had someone harmed Brandon and then covered up their crime? It was a grim thought, but one that couldn't be dismissed out of hand. Despite its plausibility, the lack of physical evidence or witnesses made it just as nebulous as the other theories. Then there were fringe theories, 
ones that suggested everything from extraterrestrial abduction to involvement of secret societies. These, while intriguing, were largely dismissed due to their lack of grounding in reality. One thing was clear, the speculation was rampant, the theories were many, but the evidence was scarce. The mystery of Brandon Lee Wade's disappearance seemed to deepen with every passing day, shrouded in layers upon layers of uncertainty and conjecture. Each theory seemed as plausible as the last, yet there was no concrete evidence to support any of them. In the midst of uncertainty and despair, a family pleaded for their son's return. Brandon Lee Wade's disappearance was not only a mystery that baffled investigators, but it was also an emotional torment for a family who loved him dearly. Picture this. The life of a family, once filled with joy and laughter, now overshadowed by a chilling void left by Brandon's absence. Their lives were no longer the same, their hearts forever marked by a painful scar. The Wade family, though shattered, remained resilient in their quest to find their beloved son. With each passing day, their hope flickered like a candle in the wind, yet they held on to it with a tenacity that was nothing short of remarkable. They launched campaigns, appealed to the public, and did everything within their power to keep Brandon's name alive in the minds of people. Imagine a mother's plea, a father's desperate call, siblings' incessant queries, all echoing into the silence, hoping for a sign, a clue, anything that could lead them to Brandon. Their pleas were heartfelt, their eyes glossy with unshed tears, their voices quivering but strong. Bring back our boy, they begged. Help us find our son. The family's efforts were relentless. They rallied the community, appeared on television, and even reached out to online platforms, ensuring that Brandon's story was heard far and wide. They knew the more people knew about their son's case, the higher the chances of a breakthrough. But the anguish of not knowing what happened to their son was a heavy burden they had to carry each day. Every phone call that wasn't news about Brandon, every lead that turned into a dead end, every night that passed without him, weighed heavily on their hearts. Yet, they soldiered on, their spirits unbowed, their faith unbroken. Their plea was simple. If you know something, say something. No piece of information is too small. They believed that somewhere out there, someone held the key to unraveling the mystery of their son's disappearance. But even their pleas seemed to disappear into the void. Their cries for help, their desperate search for answers, their unyielding hope, all seemed to be swallowed by the same abyss that claimed their son. But in their hearts they knew, the search for Brandon Lee Wade was far from over. As the years passed, the case of Brandon Lee Wade grew colder. Time continued its relentless march, layering dust over the once vibrant threads of investigation. The urgency of the initial search gave way to the somber reality of a cold case. Brandon's disappearance, once a flurry of activity and hope, had become an unsolved enigma. The leads, once promising, grew stale and barren. Each new day brought the same result. No new evidence, no breakthroughs, no answers. Despite the best efforts of the investigators, the case seemed to be locked in a standstill, frozen in the chilling grasp of uncertainty. Yet, in the face of this icy silence, there were those who refused to let the case slip into oblivion. Brandon's family, a beacon of unwavering hope, continued their quest for answers. They left no stone unturned, revisiting old leads, re-examining every piece of evidence, and reaching out to anyone who might hold the key to unraveling the mystery. Their resolve, unyielding as the deep-rooted oak, became a testament to their love for Brandon. Parallel to the family's efforts, a group of dedicated investigators remained steadfast. These were individuals who'd invested years into the case, their commitment fueled by a deep-seated desire for justice. They tirelessly sifted through the case files, hoping to uncover that one overlooked detail that could crack the case wide open. Their belief was simple. Every cold case holds the potential to one day become solved. The passage of time may have turned the case of Brandon Lee Wade cold, but the flame of hope never extinguished. The search for truth continued, a solemn dance between the past and the present. Each question asked, Every lead followed, served as a testament to the human spirit's relentless pursuit of justice. Yet, the question remained, what happened to Brandon Lee Wade? Even in the face of despair, hope can emerge from the most unlikely places. Over two decades have passed since Brandon Lee Wade's unexplained disappearance. But the passage of time doesn't always signify the end of a story. In fact, sometimes it serves as a catalyst for a fresh perspective, a renewed hope. 
The relentless march of time has ushered in advancements in technology and investigative methods that could potentially breathe new life into this cold case. In the world of criminal investigation, time is a double-edged sword. While it can erode crucial evidence, it can also lead to the evolution of new tools and techniques. Forensic science, for example, has made leaps and bounds since 2002. DNA extraction and analysis, once limited by the amount and quality of samples, can now yield results from the most minute and degraded specimens. Could such advancements unearth new leads in Brandon's case? Only time will tell. Similarly, the rise of digital forensics has revolutionized the way investigators approach cases like this one. Back in the early 2000s, the digital footprint we left was minimal. Today, however, with the explosion of social media and online communication, digital forensics has become an essential part of crime solving, offering a goldmine of potential leads and connections. There's also the potential for new information to come to light, thanks to the power of the internet and social media. The world is more connected than ever before, and the story of Brandon Lee Wade has the potential to reach millions, sparking memories or prompting someone, somewhere, to come forward with new information. These possibilities, these advancements, they offer a renewed hope. A hope that the mystery surrounding Brandon Lee Wade's disappearance may one day be solved. A hope that his family and friends may finally receive the answers they've been desperately seeking for over 20 years. With renewed hope, the search for Brandon Lee Wade continues. In the wake of tragedy, a legacy can emerge. This is the story of Brandon Lee Wade, whose disappearance in 2002 has left an indelible mark not only on his family, but also on the community, and even the field of missing persons investigations. Brandon's family, forever marked by his absence, has turned their grief into a force of change. They established the Brandon Lee Wade Foundation, a nonprofit organization dedicated to helping other families navigate the complex and often overwhelming world of missing persons cases. They've become advocates, using their experience to influence policy, pushing for legislation that ensures better support for families in similar situations. The community, too, has been deeply affected by Brandon's disappearance. Annual vigils are held, keeping Brandon's memory alive and reminding everyone of the urgent need to protect our children. His case has become a rallying point, fostering unity and a shared sense of responsibility. It's a poignant reminder that it takes a village to raise a child, and sometimes, it takes a village to find one. Brandon's case has also impacted the field of missing persons investigations. It revealed gaps in the system, deficiencies in communication, and a lack of resources that, in many ways, hampered the search efforts. As a result, law enforcement agencies across the nation have worked to implement changes. They've improved their protocols, streamlined their communication channels, and allocated more resources to ensure that what happened in Brandon's case doesn't happen again. In the face of an unspeakable tragedy, something powerful emerged. A legacy of change, of unity, and of relentless pursuit for justice. A legacy that continues to make a difference, that continues to bring hope to families in the midst of their darkest hours. While the mystery of his disappearance remains, the legacy of Brandon Lee Wade lives on. As we near the end of our journey, we make one final plea. In the vast expanse of time, the disappearance of Brandon Lee Wade, now over two decades ago, remains a mystery. A mystery that still begs for answers, for closure, for justice. But remember, solving such mysteries isn't the sole responsibility of law enforcement or private investigators. It's a collective effort. Imagine the power of millions of eyes and ears, spread across the globe, each one a potential key to unlock the truth. Yes, that's the power of public involvement, the power of you. We live in an interconnected world where information travels faster than ever. A simple share, a retweet, a conversation over a cup of coffee can spark a connection, a memory, a crucial piece of the puzzle that had been missing all this while. Every one of us has a role to play in this story. So, if you have any information, no matter how insignificant it might seem, about Brandon's case, we urge you to come forward. Reach out to the authorities or any trusted source. Remember the face of Brandon Lee Wade, not as a victim of an unsolved mystery, but as a symbol of our collective responsibility to ensure justice. We all have a part in this narrative, a narrative that's yet to reach its end. Let it be known that the fight for answers, for truth, for justice, is not over. It continues with every passing second, with every shared piece of information, with every memory of Brandon that refuses to fade into oblivion. In this quest for truth, 
Your contribution matters. It matters more than you might ever know. It can be the difference between a cold case and a solved mystery. Remember, no piece of information is too small when it comes to solving a mystery. The story of Brandon Lee Wade is one of mystery, despair, and hope. We've delved into the perplexing circumstances of his disappearance, setting the stage for a mystery that has left a lingering question mark for over two decades. From the initial shock and the subsequent investigation, to the multitude of theories that have been proposed, we've navigated through a web of uncertainty and speculation. The impassioned plea of Brandon's family, their tireless efforts to keep his memory alive, stand as a stark reminder of the very human cost of such mysteries. They have endured the chilling descent into a cold case, clinging on to hope amidst the despair. Yet this story is not just about loss, it's about resilience. The resurgence of interest in Brandon's case, the renewed hope, is a testament to the power of collective effort. It underscores the potential of what can be achieved when the public rallies around a cause, the importance of awareness and involvement in solving cold cases. In the face of the unknown, the legacy of Brandon Lee Wade has grown beyond the tragic narrative of his disappearance. It has become a beacon of hope for other families navigating the labyrinth of uncertainty. A call to action for all of us to play our part in solving the mysteries that leave families in a state of suspended grief. As we conclude, let us remember that the story of Brandon Lee Wade is not yet over. Each day brings with it the potential for new information, a new lead, a step closer to the truth. And that truth, no matter how elusive, is worth pursuing. Until the day the truth is discovered, the question will always remain, what happened to Brandon Lee Wade? Hey guys, this is The Last Outlaw. The FBI field office in Atlanta, Georgia, and the Valdosta Police Department need your help to locate Paula Ann Wade and her son Brandon Lee Wade. Paula and Brandon were reported missing on October 14, 2002, after Paula failed to report to work at Sam's Club in Valdosta, Georgia. Paula is currently 46 years of age. Brandon is currently 24 years of age. At the time of her disappearance, Paula stood about 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighed around 150 pounds, and has brown hair and brown eyes. Paula has a birthmark on the upper part of one of her legs. Her top canine teeth protrude in front of her other top teeth. The photo of Paula on the right side is age progressed to age 45. At the time of his disappearance, Brandon stood about 2 feet 9 inches tall, weighed around 33 pounds, and has brown hair and hazel eyes. The photo of Brandon on the right side is age progressed to age 23. Paula may be wearing corrective lenses or eyeglasses. She also uses an inhaler for asthma. If you have any information about Paula and Brandon's whereabouts, please do not hesitate. Call 911 immediately or contact the FBI Atlanta Field Office at 770-216-3000 or you can submit a tip online at tips.fbi.gov. Your help and vigilance can play a crucial role in bringing Paula and Brandon back safe and sound. Please share this message to increase the chances of reaching people who might have valuable information. Remember, if you see something, say something. Search.
just for your hand In a dark room I can't find you Help me Are you looking for me? Can I feel any I can't find you Help me Are you looking for me? My hand searches for your hand In a dark room I can't These balloons aren't just filled with helium, they're also filled with one family's hope. Regis and Mary McGrath are looking for their daughter Paula and grandson Brandon. Both went missing from their Valdosta apartment seven years ago. Who knows where the balloon is going to go and that little tag might, you know, a person out in their yard might find that little tag and say, hey, I remember something. The McGraths are back in Valdosta this week as part of a missing persons rally. Along with police, they're handing out flyers in hopes that someone will have information about what happened that October morning in 2002 when Paula, who was 26 at the time, didn't show up for work. Paula was a good worker. I mean, she would show up. If she was supposed to be there that day, she would be there. Concerned co-workers went to her apartment on St. Augustine Road. They say her car, clothes, purse, and three-year-old Brandon's baby blanket were all still there. The Social Security card, driver's license number, Nothing has ever been used by anybody. It's just a mystery. Vanished. The family remains focused on solving this mystery, even though they say they're in the same place they were 2,500 days ago. We won't ever give up hope. We just go from day to day. And one day, the good Lord will bring that one person forward with some information. It's this faith that helps the McGraths forge on and not forget. Jacqueline Inglace, WCTV Eyewitness News, Valdosta.